What is up everyone? Today I'll be giving you 8 tips on how to be prepared for the JJK update tomorrow or today depending on when I get this video out. We're getting a lot of new content and hopefully my tips can help you be better prepared for said content. My first tip, keep your gems stocked high. Trust me, you'll need a lot of gems, especially since we're getting a lot of new units and potentially a new banner. I'd recommend at least 20,000 gems if you want a chance at an instant new mythic. My next tip is to save your trait rerolls. With new updates comes the potential for better units. We're most likely going to get some current meta units nerfed a tad bit so the new units can shine better. So instead of wasting trait rerolls on the current units, wait just in case some better stuff gets released. Even though I am expecting some nerfs, my third tip is going to be to try to obtain some of the current meta mythic units, since these will help out a lot with the new content, especially if the new content is much harder than the stuff we already have in the game. The units I would recommend are the following, Vegeta, Sungjin Wu, Egress, Tengen, and of course, make sure you have Speedwagon and Takarota, since they are a necessity on every single loadout. My fourth tip is going to be to try to claim your Battle Pass rewards now, and if you haven't maxed, make sure you buy the premium track. At the very least, you at least want to reach level 30 so you get the Haruka Rin unit, which is honestly very busted. You want that unit, don't miss out on it. My fifth tip is to finish up your Paragon Nightmare stages so you can get even more trait rerolls and those sweet emotes. It's also been confirmed that Paragon will reset, so hit that achievement before it does. On top of trait ray rolls, you also get good amounts of gems from Paragon, which ties back to my first tip. My first tip, keep your gems stocked high, trust me. My sixth tip is to make sure your units are leveled up and ready, since having high leveled units is pretty much one of the most important parts of this game, since almost any mythic is at least usable with the max level at the current moment. My seventh tip is to buy the release bundle, which will most likely disappear with the introduction of update 1. Trust me, don't miss out on those trait rerolls, you're gonna need them. My eighth tip is to make sure you are completely stocked up on all essence stones, as they will most likely be used to evolve the new units coming to the game. My ninth and final tip, yeah that's right, you get a little hidden one for watching longer. Like and subscribe to me, it helps me out, lets me know I helped you out, so help me help you. Anyway everyone, I will see you guys in the next video, so have a great day and I will see you guys next time. My name is Everton.